everybody happy thursday welcome to our facebook live today we're talking about healthy and happy babies and homeopathy and uh, you know when the littlest members of our family get sick we all know what it's like to want the best solutions for them and especially the best homeopathic solutions and we are joined today by the wonderful dr ken redcross uh, to talk to us about these must-have baby essentials on behalf of warren the world leader in homeopathic medicine so Comment, let us know you're here, say hello, and as you know, we are a wonderful community. We are all in this parenthood journey together, Absolutely. and uh, we want to know, hear from you. Tell us about your simple solutions for teething, colic, and cold symptoms with your baby. Um, I'm a mom of two. I've been through it. Dr. Red Cross is a father of two. I'm a father of two, father of two <laughs> twins, twins, so it feels like exponentially. Yes, okay. he has been through it as well, so uh, we want to hear from you. Let us know what your solutions are, and uh, today, five winners will walk away. Way with this amazing, I'll show you what's inside in just a minute. This uh, well baby bag from Boron worth $50. So, um, again, we are here talking about healthy and happy babies and homeopathy. And if you haven't joined us before, let me tell you a little bit about Moms Meet. We're a large online community of moms, dads, grandparents, caretakers, all passionate about coming nice. together to learn from one another and to raise happy and healthy families. And we've got some great resources in place. And one of our most unique is our Mom Ambassador program where you can sample better for you products like the products that Warren makes share them with your mom friends and then share your feedback with the uh, with the brands themselves so it's absolutely free so hop on over to momsweek.com we'd love to have you and sign up to become a member uh, so again this event is brought to you by Warren the makers of worry-free homeopathic solutions for your little one and during this event we'll have members from the Warren team commenting on your questions and answering anything you might want to know so feel free to post anything you'd like to hear from them about and uh, again, we have a great prize. You know we love our giveaways. Um, so this Well Baby Bag has some wonderful products in it. Uh, the Camellia uh, Teething Relief for painful gums during that teething period, which right. is always a really tough time. Um, the Cold Cum. Um, so again, sneezing, runny nose, nasal congestion That's products. Right. Um, colic comfort, which I feel like is a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> and of course, some wonderful little products. We were commenting on how this how oh, come on, this was. Guys, come on. I miss this thing. I, I know, this, I know, I know. Uh, well, we're so happy that you're here, and there's, you know, as I said, it's a wonderful community of moms who are going to learn so much from Dr. Red Cross today. So if you can tell us a little bit about you and your background. Sure. So look, thank you for having me into your homes or computers and everything, <laughs> because this is this is great. So the interesting thing, my story is a little strange in that I'm a Western trained physician. I trained in New York at Columbia Presbyterian, and then I ended up moving my practice over to Los Angeles for a while. And when I went there... I started to see that patients were getting better, but Lauren, they were getting better without a prescription. So I started to dig a little bit deeper and said, well, what's going on? And a lot of them were on homeopathy and they were doing these things. And this is something I didn't learn in my Western training. So I started to kind of open my mind and started to educate myself and learn and said, you know, there's some alternative ways that can really make a difference in patients' lives. Yeah. And so that's how I came across homeopathy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're so excited about this company and this brand and all the amazing products that they have. And uh, again, we want to hear from you. Tell us about your solutions to cold, teething, and colic. And uh, again, comment, share, and like this video for your chance to win. So we have some wonderful questions prepared for Dr. Red Cross. We want to dive into this world of homeopathy, particularly medicines and solutions for your little ones. So um, we've got some great content for you today. So we're just going to dive right into it. Let's do it. Uh, so tell us a little bit more about your work as an educator for Warren. So, you know, so as I mentioned, so when I changed, when I moved my practice and learned more about homeopathy, I started to recognize that there are some very special things about homeopathy. Homeopathy. Um, there was a history of over 200 years behind it, which made me feel better. And something else is going to matter to all of us as parents. It's safe. Right. And that's something that we mm -hmm. all think about each and every day before we give something to our children. The other thing is I didn't necessarily have to worry about drug to drug interactions mm -hmm. or side effects and that sort of thing because homeopathy helps support your own system to stay well. And so as I learned and, and kind of got there, you know, it's funny, time flies when you're having fun. This all started almost 10 years ago. 
Um, and so there's a lot of synergy and a lot of things that really work. Yeah. Hi, we're back and we're talking about everybody, every new mom's favorite topic, <laughs> teething. Right. And uh, we're going over some of the common signs and symptoms of teething that you'll notice in your little ones. Yeah, and, and lots of times you're going to see the irritability, which is common because mm -hmm. obviously babies aren't able to tell you, you know, this is hurting yeah. as this tooth is coming. And so you're going to see them. Um, chewing on things, towels, right. blankets, gives you a little bit or gives the baby a little bit of the counter pressure, mm -hmm. which is very soothing. Sense, yeah. The other thing you're going to see as well is drooling. Mm -hmm. and, and I always talk about when babies are drooling, we don't really understand that that's really almost medicinal mm -hmm. because saliva in and of itself has some mediators that actually right. help with a little bit of the pain. Yeah. Um, so it's something else as we kind of learn and understand mm -hmm. um, to keep an eye on. Yeah. That's, that's great because I, I remember feeling that my babies were constantly teething or just thinking that they were constantly teething because of the irritability. So right. it's good to know some of the other signs as well. So you don't think it's a two month or two year long process, right. <laughs> constant process. <laughs> but what is a typical timeline? When should moms start to you know sort of look out for some of these symptoms? To so that's, a, that's a great question. Usually it's around three months to 14 months. Okay. Now on average, it's about six months. It's, it's, right. it's, it's really interesting because as a, as a parent, I remember my daughter Sophia she got her teeth a little earlier mm -hmm. but Evan I, I swear it was like almost two years I was worried about his <laughs> high school pictures and saying oh my gosh his teeth are going to really have to come in um but so don't worry everybody's a little different there okay but usually it's between that three months to 14 month okay. period and then by three years the the um, first set come in and then usually the permanence around four to six years okay okay yeah that's what I'm kind of noticing now with my uh with my toddler so right. it right. is it is a long process so <laughs> Um, well, I feel like colic is another one that I remember when I had my, my newborn, and I'm sure you remember as well, it's a topic that comes up all the time. All so the time. Um, can you tell us a little bit about tips or suggestions you might have for moms dealing with gas symptoms or some of the other signs of, of colic? Yeah, this is one of the tough ones because this one, it, you know, when they're teething, you see like they're a little ir irritable and fussy, but when they have colic, you see them writhing around and they're uncomfortable and that's hard for a new parent. So there's a few things you can do. Um, you can actually, some uh, moms or dads actually like to swaddle the baby. Mm -hmm. um, believe it or not, you can also rub their back and their bellies and put a warm uh, washcloth or towel on their bellies as well. Even music therapy, something that's calming, in other words, can make a really big difference. And the other thing is, look at how you're feeding them. See if the, the nipple on the bottle may be a little big, mm -hmm. because that can allow air to get into their bellies when they're when they're actually nursing. So that's something to think yeah, about. Too. That's a really good point. And can you tell us a little bit about how the um, the color comfort uh, product itself helps with the Call the process. Yeah, so symptoms. it has right. It has homeopathic remedy in it that helps with the gas pain themselves and the irritability okay. as well. Now, when you're thinking about this, this is also something that has these pre-filled syringes okay. that we're talking okay. about. Once again, it's nice and easy to give that way. You can give this dose. You can repeat it again in 15 minutes mm -hmm. for a couple of doses, mm -hmm. and usually, once again, you're going to really start to see a lot of the benefit. Yeah, oh, I remember that time so very well and just feeling a little helpless because you don't quite know what's happening or what to do about it. And they're so young, obviously, they can't really tell you. And it's hard for you to differentiate really what's going on. No, it colic. is. And especially with colic. And, and like I said, because colic and teething, it's like they almost come together. Yeah. And the other thing I should mention as well, when we were talking about teething, the other thing that's really good about Camellia is you don't have to worry about it numbing the gag right. reflex really important for nursing as well. So that can provide you a little more comfort yeah, about that that's too. Where, yeah, absolutely. Well, it's definitely cold season right now. And oh, that's another product that I'm looking at right now. I know that both my kids have colds right now. So right. why are kids always getting cold? Like, why does it seem that it's just a constant thing? I it's have, just, yeah, yeah. I, I'm with you. I think I have two words, yeah. daycare. <laughs> you know, sometimes they're one word, so yeah. either one, but you get it. The yeah. point is you're going around there and every kid is picking up the same thing and putting it in their mouth. And they're not able to you know, like, maybe this isn't so smart virus-wise. So normally we can get, as far as adults, two to three colds a year, kids can be up to 10 yeah. a year. And so, you know, something to really to really keep a, an eye on and make sure you kind of jump on those symptoms early. Yeah, no, it's definitely a tough process, especially when they do start going to school or when oh, yes. parents are working, it's a hard process to manage. So tell us a little bit more about the, uh, the cold comb product and how it helps 
children. So, so cold call is a little different in that. So you give this at six months. Mm -hmm. The other two we were talking about are at one month. Okay. Um, but as far as cold call at six months, there's a couple of things that are important. Number one, we already know about the dosing um, actually there for you, mm -hmm. but we also know that you're not going to get any drowsiness, okay. and it's going to focus on those symptoms that you know. It's going to be something that focuses on symptoms that you really see in the kids, such as a runny nose, sneezing, or stuffy nose. Okay. And I remember, like when my when my twins were sick, there was nothing worse than seeing a mucus there, oh, your yeah. little nasal yeah, passage, and you want to do something. Yeah. Um, and so it can help with that. So that's a big thing when you're thinking of cold calm. Yeah, no, absolutely. You feel so bad for them when they're going through that too. I remember feeling that way with my. <laughs> I'm still feeling that way with my little ones. You just feel helpless. You, know? you do, and even as a physician, I'm like, you know, I have to know, think about what I can yeah. do. The other thing is is that cold calm is also safe. Mm -hmm. Because if you guys recall, I remember, especially when my kids were younger, there was a big FDA issue mm -hmm. about what can you really give your kids that have a cold right. that's safe. I know. Uh, and so cold calm has a place for that as well because you don't have to worry about something having an ingredient the FDA had an issue. And especially at that young age, that's really a great thing about all these products, like one month and six months. It's really nice to have that worry-free element it is. when you're using these medicines. Well, any other tips you have for all of us moms out there oh, dealing yeah. with these three issues, teething, colic, or colds? Absolutely. Look, I, I think the important thing is first to recognize that this too She'll pass, <laughs> I promise you. Uh, that other example when everyone, when you're flying and they say put on your oxygen mask first before everyone else's really applies here. I mean, the other thing that's so important for me just spiritually is to make sure that you have a lot of self-love. Um, because there's only one person in this world who can be a mom and have a baby, and it's all of you. It's a very special time. So make sure that you're loving yourself and you're having a good support system around you to remind you how wonderful you are. No, I think that's great advice, especially the uh, this too shall pass uh, <laughs> sentiment, because I know that when you're in it, it really feels like it's an eternity um, and really taking care of yourself, too, because it is ruling. The whole journey of parenthood is ruling. But these particular issues, I know that they can really take the best out of you. So really making sure you have the energy and the frame of mind to, yeah. to you know, to get through it. So I think that's great advice. Well, thank you so oh, very much for thank being here with us guys. today. We all learned so much. It's been so educational, so informative. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope that you are all as big fans of Wara now as we are. And if you'd like to find out where to purchase any of these products, head on over to CamelliaTeething.com or WaraUSA.com. And remember to keep sharing, liking, commenting on this video. Let us know what you want to know about these different processes that happen during uh, the baby years. And uh, again, we've got members of Boron on hand to respond to your questions. So uh, feel free. And uh, again, we love having you here. Good to thanks see again. You guys. We hope to see you again. And uh, everybody, thanks for joining us today. And happy Thursday. And we'll see you soon. Take care.